ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Randota. As always, I am D, your host for the show where the meta doesn't matter, and this is part of the Starladder I League Invitational Season 3. This is game one of, looks like a three game series between Five Anchors No Captain and Evil Corporation. Don't know anything about either of these teams, other than their names. Well, actually, I do recognize a player on the player name on five anchors. Also, why am I not seeing any picks? What the hell? Ugh. Hold on a second. Let's try this again. There we go. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Hopefully, what the five anchors is losing reserve reserve time. All right, so far we've had a Sand King Shadow Shaman for five anchors. Warlock and Tiny picked up for Evil Corp. So, good push and team fight from Five Anchors, and again, good push and team fight from Evil Corp, because Tiny is a great frontline tank, and then Warlock, of course, has Fatal Bonds, he has the, the Golem. The Monkey King Band an interesting, is a good choice, because Wukong's been played a lot recently. couple of bands are. The green team's banning someone now. Dire team pick. Seconds remaining. There we go. The Huskar and Medusa bands were also good. Rubik was a, is a fun pick because you've already got a couple of good steals. The Epicenter, the Burrow Strike, basically everything Shadow Shaman has. Five 
seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Underlord. Again, good stuff for Rubik to steal, but at the same time, Underlord is good for the strength of the push on Five Anchor's side. So there's your initiation for Evil Corp. Flame Break, Blink Dagger, Lasso, Firefly. Sticky, lots of sticky napalm, of course. Five seconds remaining. There is a bit. There's the carry, or one of the more one of the most likely carries for five anchors. Five seconds remaining. The green team's banning someone now. See who the final bands are. I mean, the Razor is banned out, not a bad choice. Five seconds remaining. Final ban is Faceless Void. Zet? Haven't seen an Arc Warden in a tournament game in a long time. This should be fun. Because there is the main carry for five rankers. If you've never seen an Arc Warden, he's insane. A vengeful spirit. Oh, that's a nice looking Juggernaut skin uh, outfit. Alrighty, this should be fun.
Oops, we've already got a pause because Dota. Donkeys, of course. Hello, Santa Roshan. It almost looks like you can't see. Oh, okay, no, that's I thought that was his eye. But now he's got the two small eyes on the side. Never mind. Never actually looked at the model that closely. Okay, let's hopefully something hopefully whatever's going wrong gets fixed soon. Luckily, that didn't take long. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't like Bloodseeker. <laughs> Cat, you cannot just walk around like that. Alrighty, we'll introduce the teams in just a moment. Although that being said, we might have some action already. Got a fight starting. Not much though. We do have the spark rates. Oh, there's the burrow. Rubik is the first choice. First target. Can't move. Well, like I said, Rubik. That's two kills instantly for five anchors. Sorry, having to deal with my cat. That's gonna... So two kills before the horn. That's gonna be a big hit for five anchors. They need that. Stay there. All right, let's see where the let's see where the lake sh lanes shake out first. Then we'll introduce the teams as well. Five anchors. We got Trixie, who is the one name I'm pretty sure I recognize, playing the Underlord. Looks like he's gonna be top lane. Topson, playing the Arc Warden in the mid lane. Nymphy on the Juggernaut in the bottom lane. Let's see what items you got here because I don't recognize that set. I do recognize this uh, Blade of Endless Power. Okay, no, we're gonna stay down here. And Arsenal with the bla and the Blade Keeper's outfit. Okay, that's what that is. Peksu playing the Shadow Shaman for five anchors, and okay, see ya on the Sand King. I also didn't recognize okay, see ya. I don't, didn't know he was on a team. Up against them, we have, as I said, Evil Corp or Evil Corporation Flensmeister playing the Vengeful Spirit in the bottom lane alongside AR three one two three four AR area twelve thirty four. Go with that. On the Rubik, supporting Chaoli, 
on the Warlock? Actually, I don't know, because this is technically a tri-support bottom lane. Mid lane, we got Ryujin on the Tiny. And then finally, rounding it off on the top lane for Evil Corporation, we've got Owned Me. Firestorm already. So we got the Atreviora and the Firestorm already up for Trixie. There's a magic missile into OKC, he pops the Sandstorm and has to walk away, but luckily he does have, unfortunately for him, he does have the Shadow Word already on him. Something about my cat. Nymphie's actually doing okay so far up against these three. Three ranged against a Juggernaut, though. Normally that's not great for the Jug. There's a magic missile under Nymphie, and he's gonna have to he's gonna have to run backwards a bit. Meanwhile, Trixie falling on the top lane. Batrider getting a good start here. Cause that puts him up uh, puts him up a full level on the Underlord. Along with some extra money that he needs to get his items going quicker. watching the bottom lane at the moment. That being said, the Arc Warden's actually getting a good good speed going. Of course, once Arc Warden hits six is the big timing. Oh, the Avalanche comes through. Tiny also grabs himself a tree. That guy's kind of funny watching him carry that tree like that. Yeah, Tiny no longer needs to get the Agonims. Another Firestorm from Trixie. Meanwhile, own me picking up a Bounty Rune. Heading down here, because we're getting pings. Don't know why, but... The Fatal Bonds are out. Oh, Topson killing Ryujin. How did he manage that? Flux and two spark rates, that'll do it. Yeah. The jingling there was my cat's collar. But that's gonna be a big hit to the tiny because that's gonna slow him down a bit. The Arc Warden is now a full level ahead of, of him, basically. Or just about, he's almost a level six. Like I said, once he can once he's got Tempest double. Because if you've never seen it before, what Tempest Double does is it creates a second clone, creates a clone of the Arc Warden. I'd cover this in the only guide video I ever did. But basically, what it does, like I said, it's a lot like having, it's like being a Meepo and getting his ultimate going, except that you, the, the clones are temporary, and they can use all the items you have on independent cooldown. I think the only thing they can't use is Tempest Double itself. Trixie falling again. Two deaths. Two deaths up here for the Underlord is a bad sign for five anchors. Especially since they've both been solo kills owned. So that's a level 6 Batrider. He's already a good chunk of the way to his Blink Dagger now. Yeah, 5 Anchors is going to want to rotate somebody up here and they're sending up OKC. Ya. Or he's just going to steal the Bounty Rune. Pexu denying the, the regen rune.
Fatal Bonds Denial, that's an interesting choice. Fatal Bonds is basically impossible to get to kill with unless the target is very, very low already, because they only take a quarter of the damage. Or if you hit somebody with 400 HP for 60... Or if you hit somebody for 600 HP when they're connected to somebody that has 400 life left. Ryujin having to back off because OKC is in, in town. There's a spark wraith just sitting there. That's a spit spin to win for the but OKC actually picks up that kill. They don't have a burrow strike ready. But without that vengeful and there wasn't a vengeance aura picked up. Rubik falls as well. This one goes to Peksu. That being said, though, Owned Me is going on the Underlord, who actually managed to catch up to, to him in level. The Firestorm comes out, but nothing's going to save Trixie there. Owned Me has, has the TP home, but he got the kill. It's three solo kills. He's only a, he's only about 130 gold off of having the blink. He could sell something. Oh, never mind, he's going to buy himself up Tranquils. And just go straight buying a drum of endurance. He's gonna he's not gonna pick up the blink dagger just yet. Ryujin does get taken down by Thompson there. A two man rotation. There's the Tempest double actually. In fact, what Thompson's doing here with getting the Midas early is a very good idea with it if you want to play Arc Warden. Because like I said, it'll the hand of Midas will be on an independent cooldown for you and your double. So you can use it. Cast Tempest double. Hey, you got another use of the hand of Midas. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Okay, C is waiting here with the Invis rune. Either trying to catch an enemy or trying to catch this creep wave and pull it. Oh, he found himself a bat rider. Can they get this kill and stop the killing spree of the bat? Doesn't look like they're gonna try. Dyer's top tower is under attack. This juggernaut hasn't has not kept up on levels with the bat rider, but he's done enough to get himself to six, so he's got his omni slash ready. Scan, but don't find anything. They know there's a smoke coming though, and there's a two man it's a two man smoke. Three man technically with Flensmeister. But Chaoli, or how do you say Ooh, Peksu stealing Peksu manages to steal the Arcane Rune gets tossed onto the Bat Rider. And he's not making out of this. So the Shadow Shaman goes down. He's not quite six yet, so it's not a huge loss, but Topson getting another kill. Heard the heard the the lasso go out. And it it must have been on Topson, but is that the real one? Yeah it was. It takes four three of them to take him down, so there goes the Arc Warden, and there goes the big AoE. So we're down to just But they get a revenge kill on the Flens. The Dark Dark Rift is going off. Can they get out of here? Oh no! The Juggernaut ran out of the Dark Rift! He wasn't gonna make it. Settle down, kitty. There you go. Oh, Vengeful has DC'd. But yeah, that... With the Juggernaut there not being in the Dark Rift, if he'd been in it, he would've survived that easy. But he wouldn't.
And we're back already with the vengeful good. I do like the fact that we've already had 15 kills in 10 minutes, basically. Or 11 minutes, really, but... And we have Ice Tiny. Okay, that's funny. They got middle towers under attack on both ends of the river. Yes, I know you're there, kitty. First talent of the game, picked up by the Arc Warden, is 25 attack speed. Good choice, because that... Although, to be fair, once you have a magnetic field, your attack speed goes up anyway, so... Spell Steel gets Aether Shock. Can't steal the the serpent wards yet because he doesn't. Uh, Shadow Shaman is still only level four, but that's that spell steal is going to come in real handy for the Rubik. Calm down, kitty. I'm trying to do something, and you're getting in the way. Oh, this is a big rotation. Ryujin owned and Chaoli rotating up here with to help out Flinsmeister and probably take down Trixie, although they've been spotted by the creep wave, so the element of surprise is gone. Trixie's gonna drop Pit of Malice where he was and just get out. Smart call. Is this gonna be the first tower death? We're gonna find out. That being said, the Serpent Wards have been have been gotten or have been gained. Top tower on top tier one is gone for for five anchors. But the bottom tier one is about to be gone for Evil Corp. Thanks to the Serpent Wards. There they go. Peksu picks it up. Ooh, magic resist on tiny. That's gonna. That's mostly gonna hurt the shadow shaman, I think. Let's see, no, nah, it's gonna hurt a lot of the. Actually, it's gonna hurt a lot of the damage. Oh, the warlock gets caught, shackled up. Can they get him? Nymphy just cutting him down. Peksu, the swap comes out. They drop OKC behind behind them. Peksu is gonna get out of there. OKC is a sacrifice. Nymphy, can he? Yes, he can. No, actually, he didn't. Area 1234. Alright, kitty, you're going down on the floor now. Being too needy. Those two kills, though, especially Nymphy, losing your carry like that, they did, gain, they did get the tower down, but... Oh... He stole Spark Wraith. Out comes the Pit of Malice. They both have to escape, so there's no kill there, but the stolen Spark Wraith. Because Spark Wraith is basically a super aggression ward. By which I mean, it's a ward that'll attack you. There's Magnetic Field. Tier 1 on top and bottom are gone for 5 anchors. The Dark Rift coming out. Who's going to run? Oh, the Flame Break almost gets Peksu out, but nope. That being said, OKC has got to run into the Roche Pit. He's trying to, is he trying to deny himself, or just... Roshan actually does get the kill. <laughs> yeah, that did just happen. I kind of expected him to go in there, and if it looked like Roche couldn't deny him fast enough to 
burrow strike out of the pit. Those spark rays are just coming out constantly, and I can't tell which one's which. I think. Oh, I think. No, those were Rubik. That one was Rubik. And I'm pretty sure you cannot disjoint a spark wraith. Oh, stolen sandstorm now. Oh, I don't know if you can disjoint spark wraiths after all, so. Switch over to net worth. Of course, the Arc Warden would be leading because he's got a hand of Midas and he's also got his Tempest double. Ooh, the Rubik does fall to Pexu, so that gets the. Oh, good incoming rock from the war from the Warlock. There goes Pexu, and there goes the Arc Warden as well. So that that's a good turnaround kill, and the Dark Rift has to get the has to get the Underlord out. That's gonna. Re I was gonna say losing Rubik not a huge deal, because he's gonna he was gonna lose the spell eventually anyway. He just does. Meanwhile, losing the Shadow Shaman takes away a lot of the push, and losing the Arc Warden takes away the carry, especially for thirty seconds. That's bad news. The Radiant still have plenty of power, just not nearly as much. Oh, good Ryu good tr play from Ryujin, throwing Trixie into the middle of his team. Pit of Malice. And the Firestorm are going to keep them off. The Warlock Golem falls, but Nemphi is just spinning through the trees. Swap with the Bat Rider and the Vengeful. Underlords the target here. Out comes... Oh, that is... The upheaval is going to be a really big hit here. Although, they're mostly going to be using that to break off. Especially now that the Arc Warden is back and coming for them. Question is, are they going to catch anybody? Not yet. No, they're just going to turn around. They're actually going to smoke up. Problem for them is Owned Me actually picked up two battery rings just now, so... Four man smoke, because that's the real... That is the real Arc Warden. Smoke into the Roche Pit. There's... And the Dire don't know about this. They're gonna find out soon, though. They're they're gonna find out really soon because Roshan dead. Immortal Juggernaut, the tier one is denied, so there's actually no tier ones left anywhere on the map. Well played on both sides for that. Ooh, another four-man smoke, this time coming from Evil Corp. They found Thompson, just chucks him straight into the air. Up people out. The carry is going down. Is he, or is he? Looking likely so far. Dark Rift does not save him, but it's gonna save nobody, actually. Trixie does take down Ryujin, so there goes a great four-kill streak. Nemphi just chasing down Flensmeister, who tries to deny himself the ancients, but the ancients aren't there. Burrow Strike takes down the Vengeful, so there goes a good damage buff. Two for three so far. And the two remaining members of Evil Corp have to limp away. And they did that with the Underlord teleporting out, too, so... A lot of that came down to Nemphi here. Good, strong Juggernaut play there. Picks himself up a bounty rune for his troubles. There's a regen rune here on the bottom spawn. But nobody on, nobody on either side really needs it.
Oh, this might be bad. Okay, Sia is in trouble. Is in potential trouble here, especially since the Warlock Golem is back online. Upheaval. They find him, lift him up. This is bad because a lot of the AOE for them um, for five anchors just died with OKC going down. Another firestorm. The extra cast range talent picked up. Okay, okay, there's a Dark Rift, so they're going to take the tower, and then they're just going to warp out. Good call. Some quick attack speed going on the Arc Warden. for a bit. <coughs> Sorry, I had a tickle in my throat. Still do, kind of. We're going to see a fight now. There's a two-man smoke from five anchors with Nymphy and OKC. -ya. Smoke broken on OKC, -ya, but where are they going? Looks like they might just be retreating. <laughs> Nymphy's just walking around cutting up terrain. Comes out of the smoke with a spin, just on the creep wave. Looks like they might be trying to trade tier twos. Five anchors have already gotten this tower down below half health. Whereas with Reugen on that tiny though, the towers actually go down right about the same time. So well played on both sides, but looks like Evil Corp think their ta that their barracks are going to be under a bigger threat. They go ahead and retreat. There goes the Aegis. Roshan could respawn in just about three minutes. Seems to switch more back more towards a farming role right now. Let's do a quick item check. That's the wrong button. Blink dagger on OKC is a good choice along with the soul ring. Arcanes. Ooh. This has actually been a really good build for the Arc Warden. Boots of Travel, Mjolnir, Hand of Midas. He's gonna be keeping ahead and just getting further ahead. That's what he needs to do. He's already level 18, whereas most everybody else is at best 16. Actually, everybody else is at best 16. We might be seeing Guardians out of tricks. Guardian Greens out of Trixie pretty soon. He's got the he's got his mechanism and his arcanes already. Manta style up on Nemphi. Oh, sorry, in the midst of that, I missed Chaoli dying. Ryujin has to run here. Back to free camera. Missing that fight was entirely my fault, folks. I got a little tunnel visioned on the items. Meanwhile, owned me. Dying in the top lane. Sh Topson showing why you don't really want to mess with an Arc Warden. Or, you know, a fake Arc Warden. Okay, 
Meanwhile, the top tier three for Evil Corp has lost a little right around a quarter of its health. There's only one outer tower remaining for Evil Corp, and it's tier two in the mid lane, which Peksu and Nemphi are looking to take out. Out come the Serpent Wards. Firestorm as well, and there's the Arc Warden sending in a Tempest double. Fortification gets popped. There it goes. There's no outer tower left for Evil Corporation. Oh, Ryujin. They know he's there, but they don't have anything that can get to him just yet. Also, he's going to TP out now, so this wraparound is not going to do much. Double force staff on the Arc Warden. It's actually become kind of a passive game here. That being said, Ryujin's just going into town, going to town. Takes out the tier three, tier two on the bottom lane. So there's only one outer tower left now at all, and that is the tier two in the mid lane for five anchors. That was a quick re Roshan respawn, so five anchors is going to take advantage of that. All of them are off the map. They managed to take. The Aegis without any issues for Topson. So they have an immortal Arc Warden. Oh, we do have a good grab here from Own Me. He pulls in Topson, and is that that is the real one? Magnetic field comes out. He's got to stay in it to not die. He gets pulled out of it. The air, the Aegis gets popped. Epicenter does do a ton of damage, but not enough to stake out Flensmeister. He gets tossed. <laughs> okay, see, it gets tossed through the air. He's gonna be the Topson. Actually, takes down Flensmeister. So without the, there goes a ton of the damage and the vengeful shades from the Vengeful Spirit. And in fact, Vengeful's the only one to fall there. That was interesting. This is gonna be an important stat to have soon, is the buyback. Vengeful does have it, so if they absolutely need her, she can come back. Another upheaval. Meanwhile, the tier tier threes are getting sieged up. That is not the real Arc Warden, of course. The real one is over here. Hmm. 
Manta Illusion Juggernauts left behind. Oh, they found... Okay, see, it was up on the top. Got knocked up onto the cliff by the by the telekinesis, but area 13, 1234. Oh, the Manta style is gone. The Dark Rift is going to have to be used. Okay, see, and Pexu are going to go out with Trixie. Nymphy is stuck behind. Not going to make it out of this. The Omni Slash is going to keep him alive for a second, but they know where he is. And he's not going to make it. That Dark Rift keeping the supports alive, but... Regen rune. Sixteen to fifteen at thirty-three minutes. Let's take another look and see how the items have progressed. Okay, so the Manta is actually for Topson on that Arc Warden. There's the Guardians I mentioned for Trixie. Mjolnir up on Nemphi as well. We never actually did get to the dire items. The big only real item Chaoli's got is those Tranquils. Rubik's working towards something with. Oh, spinning Rubik. Thompson has a spark wraith out, but that's not the real one anyway. Let's see. Three BKBs up already for Evil Corp on Flens, Owned, and Ryujin. Ryujin's also got is also making his way towards an AC. So we'll see how that goes. There's the... That should be the Menta style for Nymphy. That being said... Okay, Sia gets caught and just taken down by three of them. By three of Evil Corp. At this point, he's got what he needs, really. Because he's got his blink, he's got his epicenter, he's got his skills. All he's got to do is just be with the team to initiate and cause damage. So while it's bad that it's bad for the for five anchors that he can't be there right now, at the same time, it's not critical that he's dead. Well, unless you're him. Lincoln's up for the Arc Warden. I mean, the Hurricane Bike is nice, but the Lincoln Sphere is a big deal. That said, Evil Corp has decided, you know what, we're done ping we're done playing passive. We're gonna take this tower. And they do. smoke up from five anchors they're sending Thompson out on his own oh they're chasing down they found the vengeful just 
jumps straight on her. She's turned into a chicken. The pit of malice not quite there in time to stop her from leaving, but... Just the sheer blitz of that attack. This one just seemed to have become a game of four and one for five anchors. Because for the most part, the Arc Warden is not normally with the team. I mean, right now he is, but... It looks like we might have a team fight coming. Ooh, the Bat Rider. He's found the he found the arc one, but the oh the lasso did not come out in time, so instead he grabs a fake one. He grabs a fake juggernaut. The tier three has fallen in the top lane. Stop Thompson just jumps straight in on Flensmeister, but the rock comes down. The magnetic field is gonna be keeping them alive. There goes the rock, just no damage really done with it. Chaoli is gone, as is the Rubik, so there's a ton of damage missing. Double kill for Chaoli, at, or for Thompson as he takes down region as well. So the front line of front line of Evil Cup just gets eviscerated. Region does buy back, but the tier three is already under assault, and there's the there's a magnetic field from Thompson, so they're just gonna take this down quicker. First Rax is gonna fall here. Pit Mouse catches the Bat Rider, but he four steps his way out. Well, tier three on the bottom lane is also going to go down. Are they going to just? Are they going to try and full lane this one? Looks like they are. That's a, a lane and a half. Lane and a half of racks just gone. The Dark Rift trying to get does get three of them out, but the only one really left behind is OKC because Thompson just boots his way out. Roshan has respawned, so they might be five anchors might be going after that. They know the big guys here now, and Trixie's just in on it right away. Pexu's coming in to help out. Thompson's probably coming in to take the Aegis himself. Cheese and the Refresher Shard are on the board as well. Refresher Shard will prob and the Aegis will probably go to Thompson on the Arc Warden. Jeez, I'm not sure about. Oh, Nemphy taking it. I didn't even notice him in the fight or in the in the pit there. The last of the outer buildings is falling for Evil Corp. This is starting to look like they're going to get bought out any time now. Some spark rates from the Rubik. Thompson just double double four staffs his illusion in. In out come the serpent wards. They managed to last good pull by own me to pull in Trixie, but they're gonna try and take him out so that they can't dark rift out. Region does take down OKC, but the racks are gone. The megas are gonna be coming in. Pretty soon. There goes Thompson actually getting the final rack, so there's the there's the Megas. Trixie actually survived the lasso and the nether swap, but oh, never mind. Looks like Evil Corp is just going to bow out here. Yep. Five anchors, no captain, claim victory in this one, folks, in game one of their three game series against Evil Corp for the Starlighter I League Season 3. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like or favorite the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. If you want to keep up with me and miss any of my current series, please feel free to click the subscribe button or the icon that's at the end of the video. If you have a match you'd like me to check out, please send me the match ID number you find it here at the bottom of the score screen. And as always, folks, I have been D. Game 1 goes the way of 5 anchors, no captain, after a good bit of fun, because that was a good match. But, for now, good night, and good gaming. <laughs>